Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you modulo counter by asynchronous counter in this video. And to understand this video, I'll request you to go through my previous video based on designing of asynchronous up counter and asynchronous down counter. And that will help you to understand this video very easily. So let us try to understand first what is modulo counter. So to understand this, I'll give you some examples. Like see, for example, when we talk about two bits counter, so at max, it can have four states. So we can say by having two bits at max, we can have mode four counter. When we talk about three bits counter, so by having three bits at max, we can have eight different states. So we can say we can have mode eight counter by having 3 bits counter. When we talk about 4 bits counter, then at max by 4 bits we can have 16 states. So by having 4 bits counter we can have at max mode 16 counter. So see as I have told you with respect to number of bits we can define modes right so this is what maximum mode that we can have it based on number of bits but for example if there is a question like design mode 6 counter then what we need to do so see for mode 6 counter first we need to understand how many counts are there so total 6 counts are there and that counts from 0 to 5 right so it starts from 0 and it will go up to 5. So and it will count up to 5. Right. So based on that we can define how many bits are required. So to represent 5 at least we need to have 3 bits. Right by more than 3 bits we can define 5. So if I say we have 3 bits q2, q1 and q0 then it will start this counts from 0 and it will count it up to 5 and once it completes this count up to 5 it should again restart from 0, 0, 0. So as if this count is happening from 0 to 5 and again 0, then we can say this is what mode 6 counter, right? So let us try to design this step by step. So for this, I'll be considering three memory elements. And as there are three bits, we need to have three memory elements and those memory elements are t flip flops that i'm using it to design this so let us have three different flip flops as a t flip flops and for simplicity of working we'll be connecting all three t flip flops input as logic one so what will happen is like our output that will get toggle after having triggering by clock so after having triggering by clock our output will get toggle now you see over here all we'll be doing is we'll be providing negative age triggering clock so here i'm providing clock over here and if you see this clock then by this arrow we can say this clock is negative age triggered clock and my output of this flip flop that is q0 and see here even there is a negative age trigger clock and output is q1 for this flip flop here even we have negative age trigger clock and output is q2 over here right now in this circuit see this q0 that will be a clock to this flip flop this q1 that will be a clock for this flip flop right and if you observe our output then see these are my outputs
and see this Q0 that is my LSB and this Q2 that is my MSB. See this is how outputs are there as per this count right but as if you observe this working then that working will count from 0 to 7 as per this connection of flip flop right and our agenda is to make count from 0 to 5 so when it happens to 101 means 5 then it should go to 0 0 0 so how we can make sure it will go to 0 0 0 so see as if next state is 1 1 0 right then it should not come over here it should be jumping to 0 0 0 so for that we will be using clear terminal of flip flop so i have already told you what is the functioning of clear terminal functioning of clear terminal that explains you when you give active low signal at that time output will be zero so you see this is my clear terminal of all three flip-flops and as if i give active low signal so here i'm connecting common connection with this clear terminal and if it is having active low terminal right then my output will be zero so here i'm connecting one nand gate right and when this nand gate is having input 111 at that time output will be zero and when output is zero it will clear all these flip-flops so it will not go to state 110 it will go to 000 so how to do this so you see q0 that is zero so with q0 we'll be connecting with not gate right q1 that is what we are directly connecting over here and q2 that is even we are directly connecting over here so what will happen you see when this is 110 so means q2 is 1 q1 is 1 and q0 is 0 so what will happen at that time this one will come over here directly you see this one will even come over here and this zero will get translated into one and this triple one that will make this zero and it will clear all three flip-flops so our output q0 q1 q2 that will not go in this state right but it will jump to zero 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 so let us try to understand this with waveforms so it will be more clear so here i'll draw clock signal with negative edge trigger so negative edge trigger means triggering will happen at negative edge so here i am taking extension to plot waveforms so that will resolve our understanding now here what i'll be doing is i'll be plotting waveforms of q0 q1 and q2 now you see here we are having clock so initially if i say q0 is 0 then after a clock it will make it to 1 after this clock it will make it to 0 see this is how waveforms will be there so after every clock trigger state will change state will toggle right so q0 will toggle after every clock right now you see this q0 that is what clock to this flip flop so see this will be acting as a triggered clock timing you see so at this instant our q1 will get toggle right so initially if i say q1 is 0 after this instant it will get toggle so it will make it to 1 at this instant it will get toggle so it will make it to 0 from 1 at this instant it will toggle so it will make it to 1 from 0 and this q1 output that is what clock input to this flip-flop so at this instant it will provide triggering so if i say initially q2 is 0 so it will stay 0 and once it is having this clock as a negative edge from here it will make it to 1 see that is how our output should come 
right now if i write this output then i can say this is 0 0 0 right now you see this is what 0 0 1 this is 0 1 0 this is 0 1 1 this is 1 0 0 this is 1 0 1 and then this is 1 1 0 see that is how it is happening right but as if you observe see this state that is 1 1 0 which will clear all this flip flop right so as if it is clearing all flip flop from here see this will not go to 1 this will even not go to 1 and this is already 0 right so this output will not appear it will make it to 0 0 0 over here as per this clear input by this NAND gate right and if you observe all these states so that is what representing 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then again 0 so what it means it is counting from 0 to 5 means total 6 states are there means this is modulo 6 counter right so modulo counter designing that is what we need to do it based on asynchronous counter only right here we just need to see how clear terminal that is there instead of this t flip-flop we can utilize jk flip-flop where we can short j and k terminal right so that will result into toggle output only right and this is how we can design modulo 6 counter i hope that you have understood this video please give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions are motivating me and based on that in future i can make videos which will be solving queries of students